Hello and welcome to The Small Scape. Today we're talking white sand and I'm gonna share my favorite and my least favorite. Even if you love black sand or darker substrates like I do, my favorite uh, is actually black from, uh, it's a substrate from PetSmart. It's by the brand Topfin. It's my favorite substrate and my favorite black substrate. There are a lot of pros in trying a lighter colored substrate, especially if you branch out and you see different aquascapes you like. White or light colored substrates can be very, very cool and lend a totally different look to your tank. Now I've realized over the years that there is one brand that I do not like. I tried it multiple times and that would be actually Top Fin White Sand from PetSmart. I actually don't like it. The black is my favorite. The white is my least favorite. Uh, well, and there's, there's a few reasons here. The first reason is I've used it in two different tanks. I used it in a, I want to say a two and a half gallon long bookshelf tank and it is no longer in there. And I also use it in a 11, uh, 12 gallon long and it is no longer in there. And I have a hunch why. That would be because the grain size is slightly larger for sand. It would, it would be kind of a, a larger grain size, what I would consider, for a sand. Well, when you're talking a very white color, which this top fin sand is, it's a very bright white you can see everything, okay? That's that's one of the things with a light colored substrate, I get it. But with the larger grains, I really think that that allows all of the detritus and the stuff up on the bottom to actually not only sit on top of your substrate, but also nestle into your substrate. So it's a little bit more difficult to get out. And even if you gravel back, which a pro for this type of substrate is, that it is a larger grain and you can put your gravel vac right into the sand and it won't suck it up. It'll release it and just suck up the detritus. It's all good there. So if you like to gravel vac, you'll like this one. But as soon as you stop gravel vacing and maybe you fill up the water, it will stir up whatever's in there and then it will lay back in and nestle right back into the substrate. That's why I don't particularly care for it. So yes, to recap, yes, you can gravel vac it, but well, it's a larger grain size, so it's gonna allow stuff to kind of settle in. So, what is my favorite? Well, this tank right here, this is a tank, it's a three gallon, and I am getting ready to scape this for Aquashella Dallas coming up in the next uh, week or two. And very excited, it's gonna be at the Oaza booth. So if you do go to Aquashella, check out the Oaza booth because it is one of the standout booths at any Aquashella. But I am doing this one and my choice of substrates for this for this bad boy right here, well, this is my favorite white sand. It is by Supernaturals and it is called Moonlight. That is the color of it. You can tell it's a very light color. I don't know if I would call this a bright white, but I think it is the perfect white. It is very, very light colored. It, it allows the anything, any of the plants or the rock that you have in there to really kind of pop along with the fish. A lot of colors will really pop with this color substrate. But why do I like this one? The tank that I put this in was very close to the 12 gallon long that I put the other substrate in. I put this in an 11 gallon long, my candy cane islandscape, and it is still in there. So that is the big plus for that one. I'm able to keep it relatively clean uh, without a whole lot of work. The, the negative is you cannot really gravel back it like you would uh, kind of like a gravel or a larger grain sand. If you put the gravel back into the substrate, yes, it will suck up the sand as well. So you kind of have to do the old stir up the sand and then do a little swirl with your gravel vac and pick up the stuff when it starts floating up into the water column. I don't mind doing that. Uh, it works out great for me, but the smaller grain sand, this is much smaller grain sand. I just don't think that it allows, uh, it just forms a better kind of seal into the, the interior substrate so that it has the, all the detritus and all the yucky stuff to, that stays on top. And then you're just able to more easily get it. This is my favorite sand to use with Seiryu stone because 
if you're familiar with that stone, it does have a lot of white veining in it. So it really kind of highlights, they, they really go together very nicely. So those are my thoughts on my favorite and my least favorite white sand. Let me know, do you have favorites? Do you like a uh, pool filter? A lot of people like pool filter, although it's a little bit probably darker. Uh, let me know what, what your thoughts are when it comes to white sand. But I will have a video out uh, within the next couple weeks of this aquascape and then of course the aquashella video. Hopefully uh, you want to check that out. And I will see you in the next one.